Starting November 15, commercial fishing vessels are prohibited from roaming the Visayan Sea and Zamboanga Peninsula. This proactive measure is part of the three-month closed fishing season aimed at allowing the repopulation of sardines and other fish in these crucial marine areas. Yung sardinas ay pagkain din na ng mga malalaking isda like tuna. So habang nagpapatapad tayo ng conservation sa, sa sardines, ay nagkakaroon din tayo ng conservation measure para mas maparami natin yung malalaking species like tuna. The Canned Sardines Association of the Philippines has indicated that sardine manufacturers have stocked up for a two-month period expressing concern about the potential impact of climate change on their catch. However, despite this challenge, the group's executive director Francisco Bancamino assures consumers that there will be no price increase of canned sardines until the end of the year. Hindi nga kami pinapayagang magtaas eh. So, hindi ko sinasabing magtataas. Pero by after the new year, baka hindi na namin kaya na hindi magtaas. Ben Camino highlights the rising cost of fishing, particularly in the face of increased fuel prices, affecting the industry's bottom line. Ang aming main cost, of, of uh, increase in prices would be the cost of fish. And cost of fish is determined by the cost of fuel to catch them. Eh ngayon, kung bumababa, kung bababa na tuluyan yan, eh, hindi, hindi kailangan magtaas. Meanwhile, the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, or BFAR, seeks to alleviate public concerns, assuring an ample fish supply during the closed fishing season. In a bid to further stabilize market prices, the government has given the green light to the importation of 35,000 metric tons of fish. Ray Pilayo, we serve the people, we give glory to God.